Impact representative of Lakeland Industries right here. Joe, there's so much talk in the industry about who's here today and this is step in. Lakeland prides itself on being a better gear. Can you give us a quick synopsis of why this is? Curating through an easy way. I had to well, there's a lot of reasons why the Lakeland gear is considered by a lot of people a, quote, better gear. Uh, but I'm just going to give you a couple of things that have to do with the design. Some of the things that are unique to us and are indicative of how you put together really good high performing gear. So I'm going to tell you just a couple things pretty quickly. There's a lot of reasons, but I can't do it all at one time. So here's a couple of quick ones. First of all, the body of the coat is made of three pieces. Now pay attention a second. You've got one panel here. You can see the seam on the side right here. You've got another panel right here. Here's the seam on the side and then the whole back panel. So three panels, right front, left front, and back. That allows the guys doing the design to contour the coat. That's different than some other manufacturers who use one piece that goes all the way around. If you have one piece going all the way around, you have a barrel. And we all know that a barrel doesn't fit really well. So that's one key feature. A lot of other guys do that, but that's a key feature in a high-performing gear. Here's a second one. Take a look at the sleeves. Is a two-piece sleeve. You can see the seam here and the seam here. So you have a top piece and a bottom piece. Now there's a lot of guys that make gear that use one piece, it goes all the way around like a tube. If it goes all the way around like a tube, you have a straight sleeve. When you have two pieces, one on top and one on the bottom, you can do this. This is what your arm does and my arm does, so you can bend it so it fits a lot better and moves a lot better. One of the key things, and by the way, Wayne, you were asking about this. One of the things, we deliver new gear to, uh, to new departments, and the firefighters come up to me and they say, wait a minute, there's something wrong with this gear. It feels light. How come it feels light? The truth is, it's not lighter in weight. The fact that it fits really well, you can put it on, you have really good freedom of movement, makes it feel light to you, but it weighs exactly the same as anybody else's gear. It's made from the same, same, same materials. So a key feature of our, our gear is how it's cut, how it's designed. And I'm going to show you one of the biggest features that almost nobody else does. This is almost unique to us. Right over here, this piece right here is called an underarm gusset. If any of you guys are big into sewing, you know what this feature is. Most gear manufacturers don't do this. This allows the wearer to pick their arm up really pretty high. A whole big deal with turnout gear is you go to reach for the top rung and you can't quite reach it because the gear's pulling your arm down. Or you go to make a cut in the roof and you just can't stretch as far as you want because the gear seems to be holding your arm back. You hear it all the time. With this underarm gusset, you really have better movement. Some other manufacturers, they'll, they'll sew the arm directly onto the, uh, to the coat. That doesn't help. Now some other guys will put extra material here and bunch it up. That'll allow them to pick it up, but when they put their arm down, it's all bunched up. But now I'm going to tell you the big secret to this whole thing. This feature and the pleats on the back and the pleats on the knees are duplicated in the thermal liner. So right here in the thermal liner, that same underarm gusset feature and the pleats in the back and in the crotch are duplicated. That is the key thing. If you guys have ever had a, a, a jacket with a removable liner, you understand that you go and move and the liner sticks to your body and the outer shell moves and you just feel like you're all bound up. That's what happens to almost everybody else's turnout gear because very few people take the sewing features, the design features they have in the outer shell and put them into the thermal liner. So Joe, what Lakeland you're basically saying is that. that. What you're basically saying is that the inner shell matches the outer shell. Absolutely. So which creates no friction and no resistance, giving the firefighter less fatigue on the operation. Yep, that's the whole big deal, is you really feel like you can move with the coat and nothing's holding you back. 95% of the firefighters I talk to say, yeah, my gear always is holding my arm down. This gear doesn't do that. Same thing when you needle the crotch and then you can't smoke. So basically, one of the things Lakeland always says, and to wrap us up real quick, is you should be fighting the fire, not fighting your gear. There you go, Wayne. Joe, thanks again. Again, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, for more information, go to 911ERP.com for more information on how to get late from here. Thank you, Wayne.